Maya is my name and I am. There is a new time, a new circle, a new dawn and you are right in the middle of it. There is no other time, no other circle. This is it. And everyone is coming along in this new time. There is actually no choice. It might sound hard, but it is not really. It has more to do with what is important to you. The new time says, do everything with your heart's love. And when you try to do something in another way, you will feel dislocated. Mother Earth hears you if you talk to her from the love in your heart. But in order to be able to communicate with Mother Earth, you have to be aligned with her and being prepared to really embrace her, give her your time. It is a diligent work. It is a very important work that you really have to take seriously because there is no other way. And this is what scares some people. It scares some people that they cannot take the fast money lane anymore in the way they used to. Then you miss out on the whole new time. then you feel like you don't understand the meaning to why you are here in the first place. There are no shortcuts and this chokes some people. Mother Earth is number one and she is your mother. She is everyone's mother. So how can it be unimportant to learn everything about her first before you do your to-do list? It is like not seeing the elephant in the room. You all should sit down first, learning to communicate with her before you begin to walk around and doing things because every step matters. I really mean it. If you only understood how important your footsteps are, you would not walk anywhere without asking Mother Earth first. I am Maya and I am the universe. I have also lived on Earth as a human being to learn what matters. And what is it that really matters? No one can own her. She is her own. And no woman can be owned either. All women are their own masters. In the new time, all the old patriarchal control system have to go and never come back. This is the old way where fear ruled and when power and control over other human beings were favored by authorities in religions and societies. The new time is here now and you can sense it when you follow your heart and you drop all your fears. The old patterns will fall apart and the freedom of Mother Earth and all women will be a fact. Love will set you free. I see your footprints from afar. You all have a unique footprint, like your own signature. And the more you follow your heart, and the more you believe in your dreams, the more your footprints glow in the light of the colors of love. So I say, do not worry and do not hurry, just be. 
feel what really matters to you, what touches your heart, what makes your heart sing with joy. Follow that feeling. What do you love to do? What warms your heart with a good feeling? Do not invest all your energy in projects where you do not bring your love and joy in your heart. It is a waste of your time. You have to be more thorough when you choose what to do and this is what is the key to this new time. Your thoroughness is the most important key when you make your choice in what to do because you really must love what you do. Before, in the old time, it was much easier just to follow the stream, look around and see what others did and just pick something and do it. In the old days, you could copy someone else's doing and feeling okay with it. But the new time says, it is about time for you to be really fussy with what really matters to you. Do not look around you anymore to check out what someone else is doing. Now it is time for you to do your own thing. The energy of the heart, the energy of love, the realm of love, takes now a greater place within everyone's hearts. And this makes love more defined and clear as a unique asset that you really should cherish. The love in the old days were, was blurrier and now in the new time it is defined and given to you as your gift. But it also comes with a commitment to be able to use it properly. Your commitment is solely up to you and your precious heart and this will put you right on track in the new time as is also the same as the heart of the universe. I love you, Maya. This message was channeled by Kirsten Erickson and it was read for you by Adriana.